Well, I went to West Ham and um, I, I certainly hit the ground running. You know, Harry Redknapp, he, uh, he made me feel welcome. Um, he was getting a good player at 21 from Arsenal. 3.2 million, which was another record. So that was the second record that I'd broken, second transfer fee that, I, that I'd smashed. Um, I'm just 21 years of age. And I went to West Ham and I, I never stopped scoring goals for about seven or eight months. I got 24 in my, in, my, in my first season, which was one behind Michael Owen for the Golden Boot. Um, I formed a great partnership with Paul Kitson. I loved working with Harry and uh, Frankie Burrows and Roger Cross and Frank Lampard Sr. They were the coaches. Julian Dix, Tim Breaker, uh, Stevie Potts, uh, Big Ludo McClosco, Ian Bishop, John Moncur, uh, Stevie Lomas, you know, great lads, great players as well. Young Frank, young Rio, young Joe Cole, Michael Carrick, they were all coming through. Um, and it was a really good time at a, at a lovely house in Hertfordshire. And I was scoring goals, I was on top of the world, you know, the fans were singing my name. And then I'd spoken about the Alberkovich incident, which, which happened, and I just seemed to lose a bit of form on the back of that. Uh, it's the biggest regret of my career, I, I should never have reacted the way that I did. I cringe when I actually see it now, I look back on that incident. And um, I'm reminded of it constantly, it's unfortunate, but people want to remind you of the negatives and... Um, you know, but it, it's an incident that brought a lot of shame on my family down in Wales and, uh, and myself. I, I suffered the consequences for it. I was heavily fined by the FA. I was I was banned, and I had to go through all the uh, you know all the scrutiny through the media. I had to leave the country at one stage because they were literally camped outside my house in Hertfordshire, uh, knocking up knocking on my door and asking my wife, you know bunch of flowers, what's it like to live with a madman and all this sort of stuff. And I was, uh, you know, obviously um, everybody had their say. It was on News at 10, it was on every radio station, it was front page of every national newspaper. And I just felt when that happened, it was probably the, the, the beginning of the end for West Ham.